What is up, everybody? We're so excited here uh, because it's football season. Yeah, we've been waiting. Preseason's over. We're just waiting for game time. And of course, as always, this is Shannon. Art. And this is the Shark Show. Roll the music. So we're excited for football season. Thanks for joining us today. We get a gush over our favorite football team in the whole wide world. And I hope you know who that is. Me? What? <laughs> yeah, of course, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, of course, all my friends know I've been a Chiefs fan forever. I have converted a Bears fan because she married me. She's now a Chiefs fan, number one. She still likes the Bears. But she loves the Chiefs. Who's your guy? Oh, Travis she, Kelsey. Oh, we Travis Kelsey. get divorced, guess what? Hey, and I wouldn't even be mad. I'd just be like, can we still be friends? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Travis Kelsey, uh, the best tight end in the game. We got our hearts broken on the Super Bowl. It seemed like Patrick Mahomes was on the right page. But the rest of the team just wasn't clicking, and it takes a whole team to win a Super Bowl. Couldn't catch a ball. They couldn't catch the balls. No, they were butterfingers. And this guy was making amazing throws, wasn't he? Yeah, flying through the air and throwing a perfect throw. Yeah, like, that's he hit him in the face. He hit him in the face. It was amazing. We played the Browns week one. So I'm telling you right now, the Browns, uh, they've got, uh, of course, Baker Mayfield, you know, and I've talked about Baker Mayfield before, and he looks like he's matured this year. He hasn't done as much stupid stuff. His commercials have dropped, but that's probably <laughs> why he's down. It's coming. The Chiefs took him out in the playoffs last year, and it was, uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes went out with a concussion. Do you remember that game? Yes. He went out with a concussion, and then we had uh, Chad Henney. Anything's possible. That son of a bitch came through after Patrick Mahomes went out, and we won the game. I didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't think so either. I, I was, was I was sad. I was already sad. But you know what? With the Chiefs, you can't count them out. There's no counting the Chiefs out. Uh, the Browns have a studded Odell Beckham's coming back this year. Odell Beckham, mm -hmm. in, in my opinion, other than Antonio Brown, one of the best wide receivers in the league. Not as good as Travis Kelsey. Not as good as Tyreek Hill. And and I say Travis Kelsey, even though he's not a wide receiver, he led the National Football League last year in receptions, being a tight end. So, you know what I'm saying? I love him. Yeah. <laughs> Travis Kelsey's the bomb. So, anyway, we're, we're just coming up with, like, we're, we're so excited. We don't even know what to do. We don't know where we're going to watch the game, how we're going to watch the game, what's going on. Oh, we're just so excited for football. Last year, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, it was cool. That was cool. It was just me and her, so it was all right. I loved it. And then uh, for the playoffs, we went to Old Chicago, which was pretty cool, too. Except we're, we're in Wyoming, and they played the Buffalo Bills, and the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills is... Oh, yeah. Josh Allen. Yeah. Josh so Allen. Everybody was decked out in their Wyoming gear. In Wyoming, and wearing Wyoming really Josh Allen. Yeah. angry at us for being Chiefs fans. One but, server was a Chiefs fan. The rest was all decked out. Hey, let me tell you something. We are Josh Allen fans as well. Yeah. We ride for the brand. University of Wyoming all day. All day. But now you're on the Bills. And it. I love you, and against anybody else. Hope you do great. Hope Except you do awesome. Except against our team. Except against the team. You can still do great. You do fabulous. You're amazing. You're good. You're a great quarterback. You're like when they talked about your ceiling, you have definitely stepped it up. I'm just saying they could still do great, but it's hard to beat Patrick Mahomes and and the Chiefs' offense. You know, another person that we like, uh, the Chiefs revamp their offensive line. In the Super Bowl, we had two starters that were that, that that were injured, so we had to go with backup, and you could definitely tell the way the line broke down. That's why Patrick Mahomes had to run for his life. Uh, not 
talking trash on Tampa Bay's uh, pass rushers. But I'm just saying, as far, I think that if, you know, the other two linemen would have been fine, we would have done way better in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's right. So those throws are amazing. And the receivers, they would have been catching balls. Catching balls. Butterfingers. Yeah, if you want to come watch Chiefs games with us, come hang out. The Chiefs game, we'll see if any bars will hold it. The Chiefs being popular is like the best thing that ever happened to me because I... <laughs> I used He's to go, die hard. I'm die hard. I used to go to, to bars and be like, oh, put it on the Chiefs game. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's not on TV. But now <laughs> they're on TV. It's <laughs> fucking awesome. And, and we have to thank Patrick Mahomes for that. Uh, right? Give it up. The Browns. Like I said, great offense. Baker Mayfield is coming into his own. He did really fabulous last year. I talked a lot of shit on Baker Mayfield. But it looks like he finally got his head out of his ass. I talked a lot of shit on him for talking a lot of shit. For talking a lot of shit. He did talk a lot of shit. But you know what? He's upset. And he, his last press conference, he was talking about how they've been, they've been playing for this first game against the Chiefs since they lost their last game in the playoffs against the Chiefs. So it's going to be a great game. Let's talk about the defense. Of course, you got Miles Garrett. Um, their secondary is definitely they've drafted up they've made some free agent acquisitions so they're going to try to stifle Travis Kelsey but there's no stifling the best tight end in the game and then you have Tyreek Hill the fastest player in the NFL the cheetah but then people don't, don't people forget we have Chris Jones on defense yeah, exactly. You're going to sack everybody. Uh, and then we have, of course, the guy that doesn't give a shit. Honey the Honey Badger. All day. The guy, and, and this is just a personal note, I know he's up for a contract extension. I think he deserves the money, Chiefs, to make that happen. <laughs> he's a great leader on defense. Pro tip. Pro tip. And not, not this pro tip. Also pro tip, don't listen to Shannon Delgado. She's a liar. Let's go. <laughs> I laugh every time I see that. It's great. Thank you, Saturday Night Live, again for producing that for us. Um, not for us. Uh, just talking shit like they, like they knew the shark show. They're like, hey. Let's make fun of that shit. Let's make fun of his wife. <laughs> oh, my God. I would die. That's really what What? Was. You know, thank you, Nick Jonas. <laughs> no. Uh, but we're so excited. Uh, the Chiefs are extraordinary. They've got a rookie center. Uh, he's been doing really good. He did really great in the preseason. He's got a couple high snaps. I think he's getting in tune. You know what I mean? Uh, we've got two two offensive players that have never seen an NFL game. I mean, these are rookies stepping up to the plate, protecting Patrick Mahomes. We got we signed a free agent. That's a good free agent sign. And he's 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 covering up the, the left side or weak side. So I think that we've got it going. If that game against the Vikings shows anything, it shows that Patrick Mahomes played two drives. Two drives. Two touchdowns. And he was out. Like it wasn't even the end of the first quarter. He was just done. He was like, two touchdowns is good, whatever. You know? He went and started doing this. Remember this? This little move. I don't know what that means, but yeah, get it. But we're looking forward to a, a, a undefeated season. Hell yeah! Heck yeah! And an undefeated season is twenty and zero. We have an extra game this year. An extra game this year, which is it's it's unprecedented, unprecedented, and uh, it it can make things a lot hell of a lot harder. The playoff system is different because they added an extra game. Why? So, Huh? Why? Oh, it was probably for money. Why change things that already work? Because the fans want an extra game. Huh? They, the fans they, deserve it. That's why everybody's getting paid like they are. Right, but you know, one extra game, I think, you can make it. But is it make or break? That's one extra game where you could get injured. It's one extra game to to put some wear on your body. It's one extra game. You know, for those teams that are trying to make it to the Super Bowl that aren't like the Kansas City Chiefs that are going to get a first-round bye. 
I just they got they got to play they got to play every week. You know what I mean? So it's, they get their one by and then it's gone, gone, gone. You know, so it's it's a hammer. It's a hammer of a season, and especially for the Chiefs, you get that buy. We're we're rooting for the buy. If you follow the AFC, we're gonna get that first round buy. The only other team that I'm afraid of is Buffalo. Josh Allen is coming up. He had an MVP caliber season. I think they should have gave it to him over Aaron Rodgers, just because he didn't run against the Buccaneers when he should have ran. Uh, so uh, what are you doing? You should have ran. The old Rodgers would have ran. I think that Josh Allen, as far as improved players, did way good last year, and I'm afraid of him, afraid of uh, Diggs uh, on his team. As far as offensive caliber goes, I know they're not Patrick Mahomes, but I know that they can maybe 75% it. And that that's where if Mahomes has an off day, and mind you, Mahomes' off days are like, oh, man, instead of 375 yards, I might just throw for 250, which for the Denver Broncos, that's, <laughs> that's, a, great a, that's a great day, you know? Shout out to Andrew Whitney. I love you, bro, but it's, yeah, the Broncos, they, you know, I ain't going to go out sporting a Teddy Bridgewater jersey. Uh, love you, homie, but it's the Chiefs season this year, and I know his favorite term to call the Chiefs is the Queefs. And, uh, I'm fairly certain my dad used to say Did your dad say that, too? I think so. Yeah. So that's that's his like he's like you still follow the queefs? I'm like fool, you know I follow the queefs. No, I gave up. <laughs> I gave up. On the I queefs. waited forty years and decided, eh, I think I'll just pick a different. Well, one. no, when I they first drafted Patrick Mahomes, I was like who, what? And, but then I watched highlights of Patrick Mahomes against Baker Mayfield in college, which was Oklahoma against Texas Tech, a border war. And they kept up with each other. I think it was like the highest yardage of any like college, college football. Game. football. Yeah, and they that. they scored like 50, 60 points each. So it was it was amazing. But Baker Mayfield came into the league and just he wasn't he didn't have his nose down to work like like Patrick Mahomes. Right. And well, coming out of a college, maybe he thought, eh, I'm number go, one. My job. I got the Heisman Trophy. I got, I'm got. i projected number one. I got the job, right? Yeah, I'm already good at my job. Don't tell me what to do. Not right. one of those people like, oh, I'm going to go in and work hard and make sure, you know. Yeah. yeah. But last season, man. Yeah. He changed his tune a little bit. He was a little more focused and everything. Uh, Baker Mayfield, I've hated on you before. And you're showing me progress, and this preseason you showed me uh, a lot better signal calling, a lot better reads of the defense, and, and he's just doing a lot better. That being said, you're not Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to put some skin in the game, and if the Chiefs lose, I will drink this bottle of Mad Dog 2020. <gasps> That's what I got him for a surprise. Good this was drink. A, I got you a good drink. I thought it'd be nostalgic. It is nostalgic. Now you're using it as a bet. <laughs> it is. Like, I don't know if nostalgia is a good word. I don't have any fond. I like if you want to hear a story about, hey, remember that time Art did some crazy shit and did a, it probably involved this right here. I want to hear other people's crazy stories about no, don't, that dog. Hey, hey, don't be snitching. I'm married Not now. Tell me fuck out my you life. about them. Oh, oh yeah. What what story do you have about Mad Dog 2020? That's funny. I say the best story gets a prize. I won't say what the prize is because I haven't decided. And, and just to let you know, it won't be a bottle of Mad Dog 2020. That's fucked up. Maybe it will. No, don't do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to play. Yo, I'm kind of worried about Shannon Delgado, man. <laughs> Give me your good stories. Get a good story. So, uh, yeah, if the Browns win this and disrupt our whole 20 and 0 season. They're not. They're not. They're not. I won't allow. She won't. She's fucking ferocious. But I'm just saying, I will drink that whole bottle of Mad Dog 2020 and film it and post it here on the Shark Show and apologize to all you Browns fans. Apologize for what? 
for doubting them. It's I'll do that. It's not that you doubt them. It's that you just have more faith in your teeth. Now, me and my wife have gotten into this crazy craze of getting tattoos and stuff. All I'm saying is if Patty does it this year for me. If you call him that again. Oh, his mom doesn't like that either. Neither do you. If Patrick does it for us again this year, Patrick, Travis Kelsey, uh, Nicole Hardman, <laughs> Tyreek Hill, uh, the Honey Badger. We doing it. Uh, Chris Jones. Oh, I want to hear this Speed, back. All of them. I'm, if you guys just made it to the Super Bowl, you're going to be Dang. inked on me forever. I like it. Yep. You will be inked on me forever. The Kansas City Chiefs is my team. And you should be inked on me right now. But I got to give you something to work for. <laughs> the reason you're going to win the Super Bowl is so that I can have a tattoo of your guys' logo. So anyway, like I said, if we lose, I will drink this bottle of Mad Dog 2020. I don't want to. I seriously look in my face. I don't want to drink it. Don't let me down. Every <laughs> touchdown that the Browns make, you take a shot. Yeah. Because I don't want you drinking that all at once. No? Mm -mm. I've done it before. Smart. Yeah. We're older. <laughs> smarter. Uh, and, yeah. Okay, I'll drink, this, I'll, drink this whole, I'll drink this whole bottle eventually. <laughs> How's that? I'll drink it within within a week. No, that's dumb. You drink it during the game. If they get any touchdowns, you take shot. Oh, damn, you're going to make it like that? Like, I'm not expecting them not to. they got a high-powered offense. Like, I know they're going to score points. I just think we're going to score more. Well, you may be drunk by the end of that. I want to take shots, too. <laughs> of Mad Dog? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You take them for... The Browns touchdowns, I'll take them for the Chiefs touchdowns. Re and whoever. Revision on the rules. Okay, check this out. So, during the game, for every Browns touchdown, we're going to take a shot. Please don't let us take more than two shots. <laughs> Honey Badger, Chris Jones, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Frank Clark, please, man. I'm excited to drink some great Mad Dog. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not excited because I don't think that they've got it. I don't want to taste it. I haven't tasted it since high school. I'm not going to taste it again. Patrick Mahomes style, baby. But that's uh, that's my thing. Um, now, before we before we let these uh, people go and do what they're going to do, uh, I need to make my predictions. Yes. So, oh, I need to put on my brain. Oh, we do. Hold on one second. Bam! <gasps> I'm a genius all of a sudden. <laughs> She's a genius. Okay, so I'm going to go with whatever my wife says. So, wife, how many games are we losing this season? None. None. It's 20 and 0. We're doing it. We're doing it this year. Riding going to the, the Super train. Bowl. Going to the Super Bowl. And who are we going to play in the Super Bowl? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Let me tell you why. We're going to play Tampa Bay because so far in the NFC, they're the only other team that can do it. You can make a valid thing for the Cowboys, but is he going to stay healthy? Is Dak going to be okay to play? Uh, is Matt Ryan for the Falcons actually going to be uh, worth a shit? Is uh, Seattle you know, going to gonna actually have a defense? Are they going to rely on just a quarterback play? I like Seattle. San Francisco, they got Garoppolo, they got the new rookie. Who are they going to have go? It just doesn't make any sense. Right now, the only team that's complete is Tampa Bay. And make no mistake about it, Tampa Bay is good. So, I think it'll be a rematch. Now, honey, let these folks know who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Chiefs. The Chiefs, you heard it. Heard it huh? You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> This is Shannon Einstein. <laughs> she makes the predictions around here. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks. And uh, we'll see you on game day. Yeah. Keep coming back. Bye.
<laughs> hey guys, we're glad you watched that video. Uh, to check out some more videos, we've got some more coming. But until then, why don't you check out this video here and this playlist right here. And then remember to like and subscribe right here. So that way, you'll be notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for chilling.